In the top right hand corner there's a link to an earlier video. In that earlier video I suggested you should torque the centre lock brake lock ring up to 4 newton meters. That advice was wrong. The torque that you should use is often marked on the lock ring, normally around about 40 newton meters. 4 newton meters is barely finger tight. However, 40 newton meters is quite a substantial amount and most home bike mechanics won't have a torque wrench that will go up that high. So if one wants to torque this up to the correct amount, what is one to do? As usual, I improvise. First of all, you will need a special spline tool to fit the lock ring. The good news is, this is the same tool that tightens the lock ring on your cassette. Anyway, it fits into the lock ring like this, and as you can see, I'm tightening up finger tight. At this point, I'd usually get a large spanner. Here I have an adjustable spanner, and tighten the lock ring using engineering feel. However, if you want to tighten it to the known value, this is what you can do to improvise. Actually, you can use the same spanner and then put a known force on the end in order to get the correct torque. Here I'm using a set of luggage scales in order to put the correct force on. But what force? Unfortunately, the required torque is in newton meters and my luggage scales are in kilograms. So there's a bit of conversion to do. And here's the simple formula. The force you need to apply to the end of the spanner, F, is equal to the required torque divided by the length of the lever arm in meters. This will give the force you need at the end of the spanner in newtons. To turn that into kilograms, you divide by gravitational acceleration, G, which for this purpose can be rounded to 10. Doing the calculations for my wheels gives me a force of 14 kilograms. So all I need to do now is pull on the scales until they read 14 kilograms. If you also want to torque your cassette lock ring, you can turn the wheel over and do the same thing with the cassette. OK, I'll now do the same thing with the front wheel. That's it. 14 kilograms. All done. If you find this tip useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you like tips and tricks like this, and other videos about cycling in mostly five minutes or less, why don't you subscribe? From me, for now, it's goodbye. If you want to apply a known torque to your Allen keys, you can apply the same trick with those luggage scales. Just remember to use the correct lever arm length.